Hi, and welcome to the final tutorial for iGasLog version 1.2. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to conduct some ad administration tasks on your application, um, both in terms of managing the database and also managing the files which you will have um, created and transferred onto the iPhone uh, through the course of, um, of uh, using the application. <clears throat> so, the first section then will be managing the database. So, to to see what we can do, we just go to main menu um, and select control panel. And you can see there's a section there called manage database. So we'll select that and that brings up another menu. And there are four things we can do. We can either manage custom fields, um, we can merge fields, which is new functionality for version 1.2, um, or we can delete imported records um, or delete all our records. So we'll go for manage custom fields first. And we can choose which table we want to manage fields through. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have a look at um, primary anesthetics. Um, so we can see we've got a bunch of fields here. And if I select a field, um, so that one for example, you can see I can either rename it or delete it. Now I've got a field down here called anesthetic one. And the reason I've got a field called anesthetic one is because when I exported my data from the ROCA logbook, it generated a a header row, um, and therefore it's imported that as an anesthetic. So I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that uh, particular field. Um, it only affects one record. So what it does, it will not only delete that particular field, but also it will delete any reference to it from your case log. Um, so I delete that. Yeah, and that's done. Alternatively, if I wanted to, I could rename a field. So Let's say I want to um, put that one as a capital, so it's GA mask SV all in capitals. I can do that. And that's done nice and easy. So that's how to manage custom fields. So we'll just uh, go back into there. The next thing you may wish to do is to merge fields. Now, particularly when you import data from your ROCA logbook, um, there may well be differences in what you call things um, between um, iGasLog and ROCA. Um, similarly, through um, years of use, you may um, call different operations different things, um, but they all mean the same thing. So it's often nice to be able to merge your data. And the example I'll show you, I'll show you two examples. One is with primary anesthetics. So, for example, here we've got two fields which are both called G-A-E-T-T. -T. So I'm just going to select both of those, and I'm going to hit Merge now. And it's going to ask me what I want to call it. Well, I want to call that G-A slash E-T-T. -T. Hit Done. It's asking for me to confirm, and the reason it's asking me to confirm is because this can't be undone. Um, once it's done, it's done. Um, so if you're sure, hit Yes, and then that's done. So you'll also notice that there are fields called um, GA stroke LMA stroke IPPV. Now that's there because that's the default um, primary anesthetic descriptor for iGasLog. Um, there's also one down here which is exactly the same but without the, uh, the stroke signs. Um, and that's there because that was a field name in ROCA logbook. So I wish to combine those and so I'll hit merge now and um, I'm going to call it the one with the slashes. And yes, I'm sure. And so you can use this to clean up your data um, so you end up without not having to have all these um, duplicate records and you can go a bit further. Okay, the second example I'm going to show you is for operations. Um, it may be that you have a number of operations um, in your database and as you can see, just might be scrolling here, um, there are there are hundreds of them, um, but you may um, have called um, a couple of operations slightly different things, but they are actually fundamentally the same. Um, so I'm just going to select three operations at uh, random. They just have to be the first two on the list, and I'm going to choose to merge those. So as before, we're going to call them something else, and I'm just going to call this another operation. OK, I'm going to hit Done, and again, it's going to ask me if I want to proceed. Now, the difference of operations is 
Now I've created that operation, I need to tell it what speciality it is. Um, so I'm just going to create um, that. And we can see if I go down to the AN section that another operation is um, now listed. Okay, so that's how to, um, to merge fields, a very useful functionality. Um, the next section I can do, again, to manage database, is I can delete imported records. Now, I'm not going to do this just now, um, but if I wanted to, I can click that and I can delete imports after a certain date. So say, for example, I've been doing very well with all my data, and then today I import a bunch of data which completely ruins my database. Well, that's no problem because I can get rid of all that data um, just by deleting um, after a certain date. So I'll cancel that. <clears throat> and then the final option in managing the database was deleting all data. And um, if you do want to delete all data because you've really made a mess of your data, you want to start again um, from a fresh import, then you can just delete all your records and it will ask you for a sure. And again, this is an irreversible action, so be sure when you're doing that. So I'm just going to click no. Okay, so that's managing the database. One of the other options is managing files. So, um, particularly in the case of reports and exports, um, every time you generate one of those, that file is stored on the um, on the iPhone. And even when you download it from the web portal, it's still present on the iPhone. So it's good every now and again just to tidy those up. Um, I actually don't have any export files in there, um, so that's fine. Um, and actually, I won't have any files in here at all because in the previous tutorial I was stored from a backup, which meant all my files disappeared. But these sections here will list any files you have stored, and all you need to do is hit delete files, um, select which ones you want to delete, um, and then you're done. Okay, well, thank you very much for, um, for listening. Um, I hope that um, helps. If you have any issues at all with uh, managing the database and your files, then please contact us at support at iamobilemedic.com. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy using our gas log um, and have many hours of fun with it. Thank you.